Hey everybody, it's Adventure Dad. And Adventure Girl, hi. And we're back in the Adventure Camper again today, and we're going to be talking about some more emergency food. Yes. Now this is going to be a little bit different than most of the emergency food reviews we do. Mm -hmm. Usually what we look for are meals that we will enjoy eating if we ever had to just depend on them. Yeah. So it's not necessarily just about surviving. We've looked for taste and the quality of the food that we're eating Yumminess. too. Yumminess. The yumminess of it. <laughs> but we still get a lot of comments about it's just survival food. It's just made to sustain you. What's it matter what it tastes like? So we thought we would get one that doesn't matter what it tastes like. It's just made to sustain you. I'm scared about this. <laughs> so we picked up some 72 hour survival and first aid food. This brick of bars here. It's supposed to be 3,600 calories. Ow! It's so hard to hurt and it made a loud sound. I'm scared. And it, it is. It's just Help a solid me. brick here. Help so let's read just a little bit about these. In the contents, each packet of nine fortified food bars provides 3,600 calories, offers maximum survival capacity with drinking water restrictions under all environmental conditions. The directions for heating these are eat three food bars per person per day. And on expiration, we purchased these just a couple weeks ago, beginning of 2022. Looks like they have a five-year shelf life. Serving size is one cookie for 410 calories, 18 grams of fat. 15 milligrams of sodium, 53 carbs, 1 gram of fiber, 31 sugars, and 8 grams of protein. I've never eaten a survival bar quite like this. I know Adventure Girl's never had no, one. No, never, and I'm scared. She's not real excited about the prospect of trying one, and I'm not real sure what to expect I'm on I'm making you Adventure Dad uh, say it for, eat it first, because I, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, so... And it's supposed to just be like multiple things of food stuck in one, right? It's all just a bunch of ingredients crammed together yeah, and to get I'm, you what you need just to maintain. So it doesn't really matter about taste? It's not really about taste. It's not really about what's in it. It's just something to keep you alive. This would be something you would keep on like a boat or in a car or an emergency bag. Something just to get you by in case you got lost or stuck somewhere. So... Let's open these up and take a look at them. See what we've actually it. got here. He's eating it first. Then we got the pill top. I declare that you eat it first. <laughs> and they are resellable. Oh. And they're about dog food brown. Ooh. I'm scared now. They are all individually sealed. That's good. That's interesting. So I like the fact that it's resealable. They're individually sealed. So what we'll do is we'll just open up one of these bars and we'll both just try off one bar. That way we can save the rest of these. We'll put them in a, a pack or something depending on what they're like. Yeah, if they taste good. If Adventure Dad likes them, he'll take them. If I like them, which I doubt I will, uh, I can have them. I don't know. We're probably just going to keep them in there still, but... We'll, we'll keep them for just in case of emergency. I'm scared. But let's give them a try. Let's not write it off yet. I know neither one of us has high hopes here. No. I have low, low hopes. Which one's the smallest piece? So they're pretty solid. They crumble fairly easy. Venture girl. You eat it first. Ew. It smells like dog food. I was going to say, it, it does have the, uh, the color and smell of dry dog food here. It does about smell like kibble. But come on adventure girl. You let's, eat it first. You're eating it first. Let's eat it together. No. We're going to try it together here and see what we think. Ready? Mm. Fairly sweet. I didn't only have like a corner of it. so <laughs> They're fairly like granular. They are really sweet. It almost tastes like 
it's almost like a sugar cookie with I don't know, almost a little bit of a fruit taste. But I'm I'm sure this is the equivalent of just eating a sugar sandwich. Um, I imagine what this is is it's just loaded. That's where those fifty three carbs and thirty one grams of sugar come from. And this is just loaded with sugars to get something in you to keep you going. Go ahead and try some more of it, Adventure Girl. I know what you think of the taste. It tastes like a cookie with like a load of sugar. It tastes very plain. It's dry. Yeah. It's granular. Yeah. The flavor isn't bad. It's really not no, but... a bad taste like I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's extremely sweet. I thought it was going to be like more of meats. I thought it was going to be like more meats put together. I was expecting it to be more like greens. I was expecting to be like powdered vegetables Ew. condensed in here. I should have known from the nutritional content that it was just going to be essentially a sugar bar. But it's definitely a lot more pleasant tasting than I thought. From the look, smell, and just what I was anticipating, it actually isn't bad. No, but especially if you were if you were stranded somewhere i mean we could eat these and not have a problem eating them it would be really sweet true but for something that would keep you going with it's, that many calories it's a lot of sweetness it's a lot of sweetness you figure 1300 calories in three bars that i mean that's enough to sustain you for three days per person there so it is, it is a true 72 hour Bare minimum, but keep you going, kit. I mean, at the size of that, that's what? Five by five inches, maybe. Four and a half, four inches square. And that condenses down pretty far. You could fit a few of those in a pack, and you're only talking about 1.6 pounds. So a pound and a half, you toss two of those in a pack for three pounds. That's a fair amount of calories you're carrying with you to keep you going. So what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, Adventure Girl. Middle. Just, just, just middle. Because I like that it wasn't like bad, but I, to me, like I don't like a whole, whole lot of sugar. So I kind of have a problem with the sugar and how much there is. But I get it's because like if you're stranded somewhere, you don't want to have something that barely has any sugar in it. But still. I'm not a sugar person. Like I like sugar, but like that just has way too much sugar. In it. it is a lot of sugar, and, and it I is for the most part useless calories, but it's good energy. Mm -hmm, but so especially in a, a survival situation where you're tired, you're wore out, you just need something to get by on. Yeah. This would give you a good energy boost and keep you going. It would get some calories in you. Mm -hmm. I said for 72 hours, it'd get you by. I see on the front now where it says vanilla flavor. I had missed that before. So there again, should have known that it was it was going to be sweeter than what I was expecting. For me, it's not something I'm going to eat every day, but for what it is, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I mean, this is definitely something I would toss a couple in a pack to have. I mean, this is getting towards worst case scenario, just keep me alive. But a lot better flavor than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, but like by the pack, it's red, so automatically my brain goes to like meats and all of that. But I didn't get a chance to look at the actual pack because I, I just saw. You with it, yeah, yeah, I just saw like the red. I I keep thinking about meat whenever I see red, and I like meat, but I probably would have liked it a little more. But yeah it's sugary same. it is real sugary it's real sweet that. that's okay i think i don't i think the square i ate was enough yeah i don't want any more but overall the 72 hours survival and first aid they they did a good job with this for what it is i'm i'm happy with it i said i will probably pick up a couple more of these especially with the way everything's headed right now and these can go in some bags or in some vehicles and at least we'll have something with us that'll give us an energy boost and get some calories and carbohydrates in us so Good job from 72 hours. Hope y'all found this useful. If you want to see 
more videos like this and some of the previous freeze dried meals we've done, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow along as we keep doing some of these comparison videos. Until next time, be sure to like and subscribe.